Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> word. Oh my. Here comes another rock delivery. She's freaked out by all these trucks. Yeah, there's so many trucks, she doesn't know what to do. Come on. Yeah, Luda's so weird. She doesn't like she doesn't like you to look at her, huh? <laughs> yeah. Nope. What the heck, Luda? It's your favorite snack. No, oh. she dropped it. Ethan. Oh, we're never gonna find it. Okay, give her give her one. You have to give it, yeah, in your hand, open like that. You got it now? Okay. That big pile of rock went away quick, didn't it? I know, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised how much they yeah. they go. Yeah. They, Not huh? nervous about how close that machine is to your house. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, I was just in that bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Today's your favorite day, Liddy. Rocks and flagstone. Yep. Oh, okay. She's gonna climb down her own way. Okay guys, here is the moment that I know you've all been waiting for, but you don't know it yet because it's so freaking cute. So you know how every day we milk Penny and Willow, Penny's baby, gets really sad and she cries and cries. Well, Lydia figured out a trick to make Willow not be sad. It's so cute. <laughs> so the trick is that we let Willow come. Close it, close it. Okay. And she just gets to hang out while we milk her mom. She just kind of adventures around for a bit. Yep, she just explores the area, doesn't cry. I don't know if I got it was too shadowy, but at the whole the whole walkway that she walked. She hops and skips and leaps because she's so, so happy to come along. It works well because she's not like the other goats. She doesn't want to spill over the grain or anything. Because no, she just kind of hangs out, hangs out, does her thing, explores. She's not interested in food yet. No, she's fine. She just nibbles on some alfalfa, smells everything. It's too slippery. Oh, she can't, can't get up it. it. Oh. So then after she's done, puts the milk away, grabs mom, and Willow just follows along. She knows the routine now. <laughs> she hops and skips all along. She steps on the stump and then she realizes mom's going so she's gotta go keep going. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, she's gotta go potty. Potty break. Hold. Her is getting her back in. Oh, because she wants to play around. She wants to, she wants to Okay, keep going. Keep going, you're almost there. Almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Last couple, Last couple steps are hard. You can do it. Mom's, Mom's in there. Mom's in there. Okay, all right. Now, if you don't think that's the cutest thing ever, you're just a cold, heartless beast. Okay, I wanted to point out that after they're setting these yeah, cool boulders and light puzzle Good. pieces, right. then they're putting in some little filler rock in between to make sure that they're really, really right. firm and sturdy. 
you can see that. That's a really cool thing that they're doing. And then also a couple of you were commenting, and I wanted to answer this for you, that our irrigation in our backyard, what's gonna happen with that? The surface of this pond is way high. It's like the same uh, surface level as our concrete, so the irrigation can't get anywhere near our pond. All right, another thing you guys were asking about was uh, people are asking like how high the steps are. So each step is, you know, around two feet or so. And then horizontally, it's around two feet to, to three feet in some spots. And then they're just making it so sturdy and well built. It's just gonna last forever. Look at how this one boulder overhangs like that and it's just so heavy. It's so sturdy right there. You could stand on it, jump on it, and then it fits perfectly in with the other boulder right there. Isn't that cool? Blackstone is kind of going to be at the end. He's telling me because you have you have to put all the rocks. Oh, don't tell her that. She wants to see the blackstone. He says you have to put no. the rocks all the way around the edge because because uh, the blackstone has to fit in all the little nooks and crannies. Oh my gosh, this is driving me nuts. So we got our new bubblers installed, but since the trenches are so fresh and it's all loose dirt, the water just wants to sink down to the lowest point into the trenches and just come out into our yard instead of watering the trees. So we're trying to make berms with dirt and pack it really good so that the water doesn't do that anymore, but driving me nuts. Guys, I'm basically like almost in tears because this is so cool. Like, this is amazing how it's coming together. It's so crazy because like you have it pictured in your head and you try to draw plans. Like I, I really, really tried to draw plans but I never quite like could picture exactly what it looks like. It's amazing. Check out this jumping rock. Like this is, this is, I mean, should we call it a jumping rock? Should we call it a dive rock? I don't know, but it's amazing. Look at that. You can jump right off in there down into the pond. Like, what is this real life? I just, I can't believe this. Right here they're building our seat to sit on. Janelle was all saying, are you sure you're gonna secure that really, really good so that it doesn't move at all? <laughs> and they said, oh man. All the tons of rock we're putting next to it, the tons of rock that that one rock weighs, it's not going anywhere. Alright guys, since we can't help with the pond, we're going to work on our garden because we got to get something done. It's a miracle, I grew three whole parsnips. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself right now. One. Two. Four, five. Maybe they're all broken. I'm misshapen, but they're my parsnips, and I'm gonna cook them up and eat them all by myself. None of y'all can't have any parsnips. I hate them. I want a parsnip. Okay, Dad gets a parsnip because he's family member of the week. Yes. Family member of the week is a lie. You say one person is, and then a different person is. Dad's always family member of the week. You won't die. Go ahead. <laughs> the whole crew's gone for the night. Now we can play in our pond. <laughs> uh, so it's really, really cool. Today was probably the most fun day so far because we got to see all these boulders getting placed. It's crazy. We're gonna climb down and show you. When you come off the back porch, you walk right out and you're on this first big rock and then you can step 
here. This cave? Here, I don't know yet. Or if you're up here and then you can step down here and you can step down here. And then you can go even down here if you want. To get all the way to the swimming area. Aw, let's see what Willow thinks of it. Oh. Willow, what is yeah, this place? <laughs> oh, that was stink. So over here is one of the fish caves, a place that the fish can go and hide. Oh. And for me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> can go when she's in trouble. And then. There's like another one over here. Here is the big jumping rock we're really excited about. Oh, another cave. <gasps> another cave down here. Go on the jumping rock, Willow. Go, Willow, go. Ooh. <laughs> see, goats love rocks. Liddy, you want to go up there so we can see how high you are when you jump off? Right, oh, Willow's yeah. going to follow you. Yes. Yeah, you can. It is solid, I promise. I'm going to be so <clears throat> Just stand on the back of. Woohoo! Fun part about Dora, you guys, is that she loves to swim. <laughs> so we're going to let her swim in it, and she'll probably catch fish for us, too even though she's really, really old and is probably gonna die. <laughs> we'll teach you a one more trick, Dora, and that's to catch fish for us to eat. She does love to swim, it's so weird. Yeah. Like she wants to just jump right in the water. It's just so crazy. Is it a big rock? Yeah, that's gonna be like a sitting rock. Is it gonna be submerged? Um, yeah, so it'll be up to like your chest when you sit in it. Just or your neck. Like it's gonna be very deep. Yeah, it does feel like really deep just being down here. She's just gonna follow you all around. Goats love rocks. Yay! There she is on our jumping rock. Oh, now it's getting fun. Oh, that scared me, Willow. Yeah, they love to climb on rocks and run around. Well, uh, we can tell the crew that they made a very good goat playground. Yes. <laughs> That's all we really wanted. We're not gonna fill it with water. Yeah, just stop right here, you know. And this fine. is good. Thing is, is actually goats. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh! She right off there. She's doing this parkour thing. Parkour I just keep turning in a circle as she keeps running around. Goats actually hate to swim. They hate water. They can swim, but they hate getting in water, so. Goats will not be allowed, and they will not be swimming. Unless Willow decides she likes to swim. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Anything possible. But how come you're not doing cool stuff like that? Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> word. Oh my god. Willow, you're scaring us. Stop scaring us. <laughs> okay, Willow, no more. No more. Stop. Go. That's too. No, don't jump down. That's too far. Okay, that's enough playtime. Janelle's scared of everything. <laughs> Janelle's always I'm just the one that's cautious <laughs> because I live around risk takers. Oh, are you having so much fun? Oh, she's listening. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's enough. Go take her back to her mom. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining us. And this is like really, really, really fun. So we're glad you guys can join us on this and see all the cool stuff. Awesome.